let's discuss the concept of electric field lines or or electric lines of force right so can you tell me what these electric field lines are are they real no right they are imaginary so imaginary lines or imaginary curves can i say right just because we use the word lines it doesn't mean they are lines they are actually curves right imaginary curves around the charge distribution right now what do they do what do they signify which they give us the direction right direction of whom direction in which that sensor direction in which the test charge would start moving right so which gives us the direction in which test charge starts moving right in which the test charge starts moving so when i talk about the properties the properties of electric field lines first thing what is that you observe they are always for an isolated positive charge for an isolated charge itself for positive charge how was it how were the field lines was it towards or away yeah. away so they are always away from the positive charge then what about the negative charge they are always towards the negative charge second point what about the third point so what about the third point when you had a system of unlike charges what happened they are starting they were away from the positive charge and towards a negative charge where did they start and where did they end they started from the positive charge and they end with the negative charge right they do not form a closed loop they start from positive charge and end with negative charge am i clear with this right they start from positive charge and end with negative charge right so if you're done i'll open another slide then copying this right so what is the fourth point they do not form what loops they do not form closed loops we'll mention this point unlike magnetic field lines so they do not form a closed loop unlike magnetic field lines fifth suppose observe this suppose i have a system like this positive and negative for us to understand it starts from the positive and ends with negative am i right now the question is if i want to find the direction of electric field at a given point how do i do that what you need to do is at that point draw a tangent but here where the question comes so when i talk about a tangent a tangent is a line which touches the curve at one point that's what mathematics tells right so how can the tangent give me the direction is it going to be in the rightward direction or leftward direction i don't know so you need to draw the tangent in the direction of 
the curve lines right so you need to draw the tangent in the direction or in the direction in which the curves are actually moving so to cons uh, to consolidate and tell you we can say the tangent drawn to the curve at a point gives a direction of electric field right so tangent drawn to the electric field line at a given point what does it do gives the direction of electric field at that point makes sense right we need to draw the tangent in the direction of it so this is going to be the direction of electric field line right and the last point is no two field lines no two field lines will intersect each other why so this field line and this field line let's say they both are intersecting each other then the meaning of it is at a given point listen to this carefully at a given point i can draw two tangents so when i draw these two tangents what is the meaning is if i place a test charge here we are trying to say that the test charge is moving in two different directions simultaneously which is not possible unless it is broken into pieces right it cannot move in two different directions at the same instant right so this is a very 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 important point and often asked question why do the field lines never intersect so what will be the answer that you will write we need to say that we can draw two tangents at the point of intersection so two tangents can be drawn at the point of intersection and what does it signify which indicates which indicates what the test charge can move in which indicates the test charge can move in two different directions at the same instant am i right at the same instant so what will be the conclusion which is not possible that's it. right so this explanation as i told you is very very important this is often asked